Hello everyone, Mr. Beefy here, doing another video on Go Fight Pow. This one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, I'm not playing um, any matches or shows today for Go Fight Pow. Instead, I'm going to talk about an upcoming Kickstarter a little bit. Uh, recently, um, for their Black Friday sale, uh, Go Fight Pow had where if you buy <coughs> all the sets that came out, you would get a prototype card pack and i think everyone ended up getting two prototype card packs of an upcoming kickstarter from go fight pow so i believe it's in february of 2023 they are going to do a kickstarter in which instead of just directly buying a set that you know what you get in the set they're going to do trading cards, um, which I'm kind of excited for because I've been opening cards with Junior Beefy quite a bit lately, and it has got that old school opening card bug going in me. So when the owner, Eric, told me about this, I was really excited to kind of see it develop. And so this is kind of the first look at it. Um, this is GoFiPal Rumble Pack. Uh, this is a picture of Death Star on it. He says, hey, Jack, this is just a sample, but man, I look great. So the packs that everyone got are just a prototype pack. So this is wax pack. Uh, there will be different kinds of rarity. So there will be commons, uncommons, rares, and ultra rares. And if I remember correctly, the Ultra Rares will also be foil cards. So, I want to open up this pack, kind of look at it with you all. Um, and actually, I have two packs. I might open both of them. We'll see. I'll start with one. Uh, I know, um, like I said, these are a prototype, so not everything's finalized. I think the cards will look different here. So, like, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll notice that the cards are in full color. Uh, the actual trading cards uh, for the set that aren't the prototypes should be in full color. Um, so, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at my first Rumble prototype pack. I do like that art for Death Star. Prototype. And as a word of warning, packs may contain actual cards in the set and also cards that are used as filler for the demos. So we will see. Okay. So there we go. Man, it has been a long time since I have opened a wax pack. So cool, though. Like I said, opening cards with Junior Beefy have really made this interesting. Okay, so the first card is Trickster. So uh, you would look at this character as kind of like a Joker character. He was in a previous set. Let's see if my camera can focus a little bit here. He's got a neck tied, which is a DQ move. A Joker's Wild, which is his finisher. Let's see, and I do know Eric talked a little bit about with these prototype cards, some of them do have errors. So Trickster is uh, reverse, says T-Bolt. However, um, that won't be the way on the actual cards. So these are kind of ones that he printed initially just to kind of test out um, and all that. So... I always like Trickster. There was a um, female character called April Fool, which kind of reminded me of Harley Quinn, which pairs up well with Trickster, in my opinion. So that's cool. So Trickster is one of the cards I got. Ooh, Scoop Molden. So that's going to be like an announcer type card. Okay, so this is kind of a flavor card. 
And I believe in addition to fighters, there will be flavor cards like scoop and there may even be arena cards. So I'll be curious to see if there's any of those in this. So scoop Molden. Scoop has uncovered some controversy. So how this card would work is before you start a fight card that you set up, you would roll on this chart and you would take a D6 roll. If you rolled one through three, there would be an intergalactic title on the line or whatever you call your championship title. If you rolled a four through six, there would be a specialty match, um, which you could set up with any card. So it's kind of a way to just, I don't know, mix it up. You know, sometimes um, when building your own Fed, it's kind of nice just to throw some random stuff in there that you haven't planned. Kind of makes things interesting. So that, so I like that. I like flavor cards. <coughs> Laser Man. Ooh, a redemption card. We'll have to see what that one is. Um, in the final cards, I believe the rarity will be denoted right in this area. I think it'll be a star, one for common, two for uncommon, three for uncommon, and I'm not sure what he's going to do for the ultra rare, um, but you'll know that they're ultra rare because they're uh, foil cards. So Laser Man. Move it here. Look at what he has. Star Crasher. Future Forearm. Oh, I think my hand is... Oh, are you not going to focus? Let me... Nope, you're not wanting to focus for me. But he has some flavor text, so... On his fast forward, he has a little asterisk, so that's what the flavor text deals with. Cool. All right, so that's Laser Man. All right, so what is this? A redemption card. Hmm. Interesting. Redemption card. Email that email with the code. Oh, I should cover it up. Interesting. Cool. Ooh, a ref card. Ref Red Wing. So, if he was the ref for the night, before each fight, you'd roll a d6. If you rolled a one or two, you would add one to pop, which if this is you first kind of early introduction to go fight pal pop is um, when you're about to lose. You can think of it as if you're an MMA fan, you're, you know, groggy, might be getting ready to get knocked out. Or if you're a wrestling fan in a pinning predicament. So that's kind of cool. I like that. So that's kind of. That could um, make some interesting uh, storylines with added refs. You could have some fighters get mad at the refs if they think they're um, being biased against them. I always kind of remember the Hogan being mad at the two Hefners. All right, and so the last one in this pack is Power Monger. Ooh. Dream Street, his money shot is a DQ move. So that's pretty cool. That's fun. I love the fighters, but I'll have to admit that I'm kind of excited for the more flavor cards of Scoop and like Red Wing. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and open up my other pack as well so here's the second pack let's see if i get any doubles <clears throat> oh, as i try and knock down my setup oh looks like i got a glitter character 
So if I remember correctly, this is what um, this is one of Eric's daughters. She made this character. So you know what? I'll just I'll just start with her. So we'll just start with her. Space Girl page. Look at the back. A rocket strike. Cool. All right, next up, T-Bolt. <laughs> kind of like the look of him. T-Bolt Slam. Heaven High Headbutt. He's from the High Heavens. South Paul Lariat. I like him a lot. Ooh, I like the art on this one. Turbulence. It's got that superhero vibe going. All right, rotating drop kick. The dust storm. And he's got some flavor attacks. So, if you roll the dust storm, which is the finisher, add one number to finisher after each pop fail. Max one to five. So, if I'm reading that correctly, that would mean that any time someone survived the dust storm, it would then become more effective the next time he went for it. So that's really kind of cool. That might be, that might be one of my new favorites. And there's Vex, the Vexplex. Hmm, interesting. His uh, flavor text deals with duos. Which I don't think I've played any duos match matches so far, but duos is like tag matches. Um, I might have to do those here soon. Just as a this is how you play. Cool. Ah, oh, here we go. Death Star. I like that art. Maybe I can show some art of um, some of his other cards. Let's look at what. Oh, okay. So this is kind of cool. So this denotes a rookie card. So I know there's going to be some, I believe uh, they're being called parallels. So within the card set when collecting them, there might be multiple cards of Death Star. However, it will be him in different parts of his career. So like this prototype card is of his rookie. Think of it as his rookie year. And so there might be another Death Star card in there in which he's midway through his career or at the end of his career. I think that's kind of neat um, just because you get to kind of see the differences in characters. Uh, the way, I mean, the way the story works too, you theoretically could have a young Death Star going against an old Death Star if that's how you wanted to run your Fed. Um, but no, that's cool. I'm glad I got Death Star in a prototype pack because I really like that art for the prototype cover. Um, now, I do know that while this is the art for the wax packs for the prototypes, uh, there will be a different different type of artwork for the packs. But no, that's cool. And that leaves Crusher Khan. Crusher was one of my favorites from the early sets. Ooh, his Soviet Sickle has an even rating, so that's pretty strong. Let's see if it'll... Awesome. Well, that's my two prototype packs. That's fun. I can't wait to see more. I'll be excited when February comes around. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pause the video 
and I will come back and run a couple matches. And actually, it would probably be a good time for me to run a duo match just to maybe show how it works. Um, we'll see, though. Awesome. I will be right back. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Um, I got a fight set up with the new um, Rumble Pack cards that I want to show you. So um, I really like the rookie card of Death Star, and I like the look of Turbulence here. So I kind of wanted to do a match with them, and I wanted to try out this ref Red, Red Wing card. Um, and so because of the way this one's worded, it says opponent and you. So I'm going to look at Turbulence as player one. So he would be the you, and that would make Death Star the opponent. So I'm going to roll on Red Wing and a six. So both add one to their pop. So both fighters will get a one added. So that makes Death Star pop four and one. And then that would make his a one and one. Um, but what I'm going to do to make it easy on me is just say a one and a two. Um, but technically you could roll the one twice. Um, so that's probably going to make this fight go a little faster or could. Uh, Turb Turbulence is going to be the red die. Death Star, the blue die. They're going to roll for initiative. Both roll a one. N neither has a fast forward of that. <laughs> they both roll a six. All right. And so now we have some difference. So Death Star won the initiative roll. So he's going to start on positive. Rolls a five, a mint condition maul. And that hits turbulence with the pop. So I'm going to do a one and a two because we added a pop from the card. So turbulence needs to avoid rolling a one or a two. And he does. So he survives. That is a special edition suplex by Death Star. And rolls a pop again. So avoid a one and a two. He does with a six. Death Star goes for a rookie rack drop. And Turbulence blocks it. And a backflip drop kick, which is blocked again. And he hits his finisher. The flying cross chop finisher rating of six. If you can read that. So he's doing his finisher with a six. And then he also has a one and a two. So he needs to avoid a one. A six or a two, and he does. Death Star continues with a rookie wreck drop, and turbulence is blocked. Oh, Death Star going for his finisher again. The rookie is out to prove himself, and he avoids all the necessary numbers. Special edition suplex. Turbulence is going to reverse it and try and have his own offense, and goes for a spinning toe hold. Which is blocked. Goes for a rotating drop kick, which might take out Death Star. Death Star's got to avoid a four and a one. Oh, rolls his four. So that's actually going to be it for Death Star. Normally you would roll for power play, but because this is his rookie card, Death Star does not have a power play. So I can roll this and it doesn't matter because there's no zero on it. So. Turbulence wins. And that's going to be kind of the neat thing about seeing some of these characters like Death Star who um, have different versions of their career. So like this one, obviously, um, I mean, he had a lot of good offense, so it isn't like he couldn't win. He could win. It's just going to be a lot harder. Um, but it will be interesting to see how some of these characters do. And then if anyone decides to, hey, we're going to we're gonna do, you know, like a, a timeline thing, which, you know, Death Star, the rookie card might fight Death Star, the special edition card, which is further in his career. I don't know. It could be neat. Um, that's the nice thing about this game is the creativity um, of the people who play it and seeing what they do. Um, and But before I go, I want to show one other thing. This card wasn't in one of my packs, um, but it was included um, with the other set cards I got, 
and it's an El Picador card. And the reason why I wanted to show it off here is the Ultra Rares in this upcoming card game that will be kickstarted in February. Um, the Ultra Rares should be, I believe, foil cards like this. So I just kind of wanted to show off what those look like. Um, I wasn't sure how I'd feel about them, but I actually really kind of dig it. Because um, typically, I mean, it doesn't have like the special backgrounds like these and stuff, which I really like. Um, but I, I don't know. I like the shiny. And yes, this is like a Pikachu type character. But, um, but that's all I got for today. Um, those were the cards that I pulled. And I'll show them off again here real quick before I go. But I'm excited for the Kickstarter. And if you have any interest in opening cards or collecting cards, um, and especially if you have any love of wrestling or fighting, I, I would encourage you to try and check it out. Um, and run your own fed. Join the Go Fight Pal community. Really welcoming. And it's always fun to see what everyone comes up with. So, there are my cards. Um, thanks for stopping by. And you all have a great rest of your day. I just got